best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Life is a series of moments. A continuous list of choices, opportunities, joys, and regrets until eventually, inevitably, the moments come to an end. When these moments present themselves, it is the decisions made that make up the person you are, were, and will become. They don't just define you, they are you. And for super flyweight Joshua Franco, when the biggest moment of his life presented itself, he made his decision. A decorated amateur, the San Antonio, USA native, has long seemed destined for boxing greatness. Fast, strong, and with a great natural ring IQ, El Professor even decided to forego his Olympic moment and turn to pro at 19 years old. But in boxing, nothing comes easy, and his first professional fight led to a very tight split decision victory. But a win is a win, and under the guidance of illustrious trainer Robert Garcia, Franco continued to improve on his professional path. 12 fights and 12 wins later, Franco decided to honor his Puerto Rican heritage and took a fight on the island. On March 24, 2018, at an event marketed as his ancestral homecoming, Franco was matched up against 11-1-1 Argentine Lucas Emmanuel Fernandez Leone. Despite a great start, including a knockdown in the first, Franco was stopped by TKO in the ninth round. But Franco would bounce back and learn from the experience. Less than seven months later, he would face off with former Super Bantamweight title contender, Oscar Negrete. The two would proceed to engage in a trilogy of evenly matched contests, with Franco scoring one split decision win between two split draws. In an 18-month span, El Professor earned a record of two wins, one loss, and two draws. And at 23, Franco had some tough decisions to make, but decided to keep moving forward. Kicking off 2020, Franco stopped Jose Alejandro Burgos in the ninth round in January. This was supposed to be Franco's comeback year, but a global pandemic had other plans. In this moment, Franco was presented with another choice. Wait until the world went back to normal to continue his career, or stay focused and be ready for the next opportunity that presented itself. He chose the latter, and when the chance of a lifetime came calling, he answered. For Top Rank's June 23rd comeback event, they were looking for a fighter to take on undefeated WBA world champion Andrew Maloney, and despite a cross-promotional divide, the Golden Boy contender was offered the chance to face Maloney in the first world title fight since the shutdown. Maloney was the star of the show, an undefeated Australian powerhouse who, along with his highly touted twin brother Jason, had recently signed with Top Rank and were given the royal treatment. In Maloney's American debut, Franco was the sacrificial lamb, but not to him. In a high-octane all-action affair, the two super flyweights battled it out. Maloney came on strong with vicious hooks and a relentless body attack, but Franco fought on. With constant pressure, Franco evened the score, then opened a cut, and in the 11th round dropped Maloney in what would be the deciding factor on the scorecards. And after 12 rounds, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and new WBA Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Joshua El Profesor Franco! Life is a series of moments, and it is the decisions made in these moments that define us. New WBA World Champion Joshua Franco has decided to answer his troubled moments with focus, his losing moments with resilience, his pressured moments with determination, and his biggest moment with victory. And now will always be defined as a champion. <laughs>